Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video for you on a really exciting thing that happened. If you guys didn't see on my Twitter or Instagram, which you definitely should go follow both, I will leave the links down below so you can check those out. But on Tuesday, October 10th, I met Liam Payne and literally I'm so happy you don't understand. <laughs> This is just going to be a story time video on how I met Liam that day. I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to see this because I didn't end up vlogging because it was very last minute. So you guys overwhelmingly said that you want to see this video. So I'm really excited to make it for you. It's a really good memory for me. And yeah, let's just get on to the story time. So basically, Liam was in New York City on Tuesday, October 10th because he was announcing the lineup for Z100 Jingle Ball in New York City. Because obviously, if you guys didn't know, um, he's performing on the Jingle Ball, like, iHeartRadio uh, tour thing that is in December. And he was going to be at Macy's that day, meeting around 50 people that spent $50 or more, like, the first 50 people that day. I ended up meeting a friend for breakfast that day, so I wasn't able to go when the store opened at 10. And then my friend had told me that she didn't know if there was any wristbands left because there was people online. So I figured, you know, I won't even go and try because I would get my hopes up and like not get anything. So I was super tired. I came back after and like went to nap. And then at 2 p.m. my friend Cass texted me and I'm going to leave Cass's Twitter down below. You guys should go follow her. Um, she literally is the reason that I met Liam that day. So I literally love her so much. Like I was telling her like all day. I was like, you're the reason that I met him and I'm so grateful. Um, so she texted me and said that some girls had just gotten wristbands at about 2 o'clock But I live about like 20 minutes away or so and I wasn't even ready I had no makeup on like my clothes were just like ugh. I was like is it worth it? Like I don't know if I should go because I'm gonna get my hopes up She was like, you know what just try like it doesn't hurt So I literally somehow saw this message when I was about to nap because I'm like the, the like deepest sleeper when I'm in a nap And I was just like whatever I'll go down and try because I'm just one person like the maybe they'll feel bad so I grabbed like whatever makeup I could find, like mascara foundation, that was it. Like I didn't even bring that much stuff. Threw it in my purse, grabbed the first outfit I saw, which was kind of gross. It was just like a graphic tee and then some jeans and my nasty Adidas, which I'm really mad that I wore, but whatever, it's not the point. And then I like ran to the subway, got down to Herald Square, and I went into the Macy's. Now I started asking people where this was because I had no idea where the event was being held. And at that point, everyone was already online. So nobody was lined up in the thing. So I had no idea where to go. I went downstairs, I asked like three people and they all were like had the lanyard things on that said special events. And they kept telling me to find some guy that was like over there. But there was no guy. Um, so I just kept walking around and I was like freaking out. And I was just like, what the heck? Like I'm already here. Um, and then some guy came over to the area that I was at and he's had like a special events thing with like a envelope or whatever, like a big like envelope you'd send stuff in at the post office. And I asked, I go up to him and ask him like, oh, how can I get like a, the promotion thing to meet Liam today? And like he was really quiet and just like, oh, like go grab something really quick and then like buy it and then like show me. So I literally like went right behind me, grabbed the first pair of jeans I saw. I thought there was tax, but there wasn't, so it ended up being $49, so I go up there and I'm just like, hold on one second. I go over and grab the ugliest sweater that I could find, literally, it's not even in my size. I was so stupid, I ended up spending $78 and I only had to spend $50, like, who, what, who am I? I don't even know. But I mean, it's fine, the $80 was worth it to meet Liam, so I don't even care. There's no refunds or anything, so I'll probably just exchange the item for another thing. So I got that done and then he was still standing there like I kept checking over and like making sure the guy wasn't gonna leave because he wasn't standing there in the first place. So then I go over to him, I give him my receipt and he like stamps the receipt. Um, I actually have it, I'll insert like a picture of it. He gave me the wristband which I'll also insert a picture of um, and basically just said Z100 Jingle Ball Macy's and he was like gave me a, a paper that kind of explained all the information so like whatever I have I'll just like insert it so you guys can see what it looks like it's like okay just like go down the announcement is starting at 5 and it was now like 3 o'clock or something so I had to get ready so I went over to Starbucks two blocks away and I was like freaking out like I couldn't believe that this was actually gonna happen and I'm so grateful that this guy let me like go even though it was probably like 
over 50 people already but I think he was just being very nice because I literally almost started to cry in front of him like I was so nervous I was like I can't do this like I was like I've been a fan for like seven years like I really want to meet him and everything so I think that's why he felt bad so I went to Starbucks got something to drink because I like hadn't eaten since breakfast and then I literally started doing my makeup sitting in Starbucks where everyone could see me it was the, the weirdest thing ever but I don't even care um, so I did all my makeup in there and then I went over about 4 30, 4 15 and met my friend Kelsey who didn't get them angry but there was also barricades behind the VIP section for the announcement that anyone could go to so I saw her there and then I went in I was in the front right barricade where all of, like the people that were meeting him were and at 5 o'clock they came out and did the announcement so I'll insert some clips of this stuff now I'm gonna show them up I'm going to introduce another superstar okay and bring him out Liam Payne. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, yeah. Some people want to see you. There's some people here that want You want to help us do the announcement? I mean, I can help you all if you want. All right, you got you to gotta go to work with us. Hey, who I else? I'm really professional with my car. You got it going. Uh, Camilla Cabello. Oh! You might know this ready, next person. Nile Horan! My turn again, right? Oh, is it your turn? Yeah. My turn. Oh, yeah, it's your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Come on, go to work. We got Halsey coming as well. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that was the announcement. They announced who's gonna be there, like Liam, Niall, Taylor Swift, Demi Lovato, um, the Chainsmokers, and then a bunch of other people. There's like 14 people that are gonna be at C100 Jingle Ball, um, which I'm definitely gonna try to go to. Um, so then after that, Liam performed two songs. He performed Ship That Down and Get Low. So I'll insert some clips of that as well. He was amazing, so I was really grateful to be able to see him perform that because I've never seen him perform those live yet, so that was really exciting. Um, and I was standing and I was like second row, there was just one girl in front of me at the barricade. And then after that they escorted us all back into Macy's and we all went downstairs and got online to meet him, which was so nerve wracking at that point it was finally setting in and I was just like, what am I going to say to him? Like what am I going to do? What pose am I going to do? Like I don't know. But I was just so excited like that it was happening. Unfortunately the photographer cancelled for this event which was kind of stupid, it made no sense. So we had to get our pictures taken on the phone which like... I don't care because I still got to meet him, but it just kind of sucks that like we spent $50 at least and we had to take them on our phone. Like I only have a success and my phone camera is really bad. So some people got like a lot better quality pictures if you have a better phone. Basically I got up to the front and then I walked over and I hugged Liam and it was great. Um, and then when I was hugging him, I told him, I said, thank you for being you because you're amazing. Um, that was like the last minute thing I came up with to say to him, but I thought it was cute. Um, and then my hair like got stuck on like his like beard for a second So then he was like didn't even like respond to what I was saying, but he was like, oh, I think my beard is like velcro um, So he's like saying that to like me and like the other lady that was like security and I was just like That's this is what happens in my life. Yeah. Yeah after that they were like rushing us basically to take pictures even though we spent the money because the security was literally the rudest people ever after I gave him a hug I just took like a normal picture because I didn't have anything fancy to do. I mean the height difference is like a little bit now so it kind of like works out but it wasn't like much shorter than him to be able to do like a pose that I thought would be cute so it was just like whatever I'll take like a normal picture and like just try to look cute in it. Um, and I was really happy because they took candids on my phone. Praise the lady that took the picture. I know some people didn't get candids so I feel really bad but she pressed the thing on my- I think I got like about six pictures with him um, some of them are really derp, but one of them is, or two of them are hugging pictures. I realized in that moment that I'm the most awkward hugger in these pictures. And then there's a laughing picture of me, and then like, 
there's two normal pictures one of them is blurry and then one of them is really good and that's what I posted so I'll enter those pictures and now But definitely go check them out on my Instagram and please like that picture. It would mean so much because I am just like loving your guys' support. Everyone's comments was so nice and I'm so sorry if I didn't respond. Like I just, it's too much to respond to. But I really appreciate all the support and like how much you guys like really appreciate that I met him. It means so much. Honestly, after that I walked away and it was literally like I can't believe that it happened. Um... It's been six years. The first time I saw Liam was at an up all night CD signing, but I never got pictures or any really got to talk to him. Like, I literally just passed by them. So, I've been waiting for this moment forever. If you guys didn't know, I've been a Liam girl for literally, like, my entire directioner experience. Like, I've always wanted to meet him and just, like, give him a hug, but getting the picture just, like, is just a really good memory. So, I'm really happy that that happened. Um, thank you, Cass. I love you. This wouldn't have happened without you. So, yeah. Um... I guess that's all for the story time. It's not like super like fun story time like some of them are, but I thought it'd be cool to tell you guys how I met him. I think that's all for this video. If you enjoyed the story time, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for videos every Friday. And that is all. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.